All righty. And we're back. Another short stream, relatively speaking, uh, for um, eye stencil sale that's currently going on. And let me dig my way out of these prints from last night's stream, and I'll show you what the deal is. This is that patina paper that I started on last night. Not 100% wild about it, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't know what I'm doing that I can't repeat. Let's do but anyway, I'll figure it out. Here's a print of Joan's uh, Dreamcatcher stencil. This one's really cool colors. Um, I forget. It's another one of Joan's. Here's the same one with a clean print of what the stencil looks like. This is the Floral Cascade. This is my large orb. Another print of the Dreamcatcher. I like that one. Hey, Pam. Welcome. Clean up from that, um, the Floor Cascade. Um, that was a good background one, but it was not a good print of the stencil. Here's my small pictograph clusters. And that's a clean print of what they look like. And here we go. Okay. Hey, Joan. And there's Joan Smithies, the designer of most of these stencils. I only had a few new designs this time. Hey, Zandra. Uh, but Joan has a ton. And her free one is also one of Joan's designs. So let me, let me give you the lowdown. Hey, April, of what the sale is for those of you who might be watching this recording. And then we'll get into a little bit of play and demo. Um, so it's iStencils.com is the website. You'll find mine and Joan's stencils under my heading, which is Patty Tolly Parish. Joan's are, are designated with her JS, her initials, and then her number. Um, they're marked with a new bubble on them. And if you've been to iStencils before, you will have... Um, You'll notice that they have a new website they just launched. Uh, so in honor of that and Jones and my new stencils, we're doing a, st a sale for the entire website, which is well over 3,500 designs. Uh, you can get 33% off the entire site. 33%. Hey, Nancy. Um, you get a free stencil with the purchase of one of my stencils or one of Jones. It used to be, I think, a minimum purchase of $25 and you'd get a free stencil. Now you only have to buy one, one of mine or one of Jones. And you get this free stencil, which is one of Jones' designs. It's kind of got a 3D look to it. Looks like little tables with legs that are stacked on each other to me. You see that? A little fool the eye thing there. And Sherry from my stencils is going to donate 10% of the entire sale to a COVID-19 charity. Um, free domestic shipping, as always, on eye stencils um, for a $50 order. If your order is under $50 and you're in the United States, it's $2.99 flat rate shipping. International shipping is $11.99, which if you're international and you buy from the U.S., you know that's a really good deal. The sale, sale is running uh, through Monday, the 30th of March. And that's 2020 for someone who might see this next year or after. Um, so there you go. That's the deal. Here's the freebie. Um, and let's, I wanted to try something here before we started with the jelly print and I wanted a small stencil. So I'm going to pull out this cluster of Jones. Some other people came in. Hey, Dad. Hey, Kathy. Gala, the TP queen. <laughs> She's singing a happy day song because she got her toilet paper stash from Amazon. I'll give you all her address and we can uh, figure out how to go knock on her door and see if she'll spare a square. Uh, Nancy, I said hi. Linda. Kathy. Tindaloo. Hey, Jamie. Hello to y'alls too. Okay. So I wanted to play with this on something. Let me find something. You know what? I'm going to use this 
just because it's black paper and it is some metallic. This is the cleanup print from Joan's cascade floor cascade. Um, and I used some PBO Dynacolors to pull the uh, print the other night, last night. But I'm going to use this. Which one do I want to do? The little circling one? Will that actually show up? Let's try it. I'm going to plug in my little uh, We Are Memory keep Keepers. Hey, Jude. Welcome. That's my friend Jude from New Zealand, guys. When you see, show you those pretty papers I get from New Zealand, that's Jude. Welcome. Ora Bora. Bonnie Lou, I know you. I think the rest of your Arizona buddies are here, actually. Um, where is my foil? Here we go. I'm just going to take a piece that I've used already and let this heat up. So this is the, um, I'm going to call, start calling Gail a TP. Um, the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Lifestyle Pen. This is a USB. I don't know if you can see it over here. Nope, you can't see it. You can move the camera. I'll show you. Trust me, this cord is a USB. It's plugged into a USB uh, into my power. Um, I'm glad you're here too, live, uh, live too, Bob. Um, and it's going to heat up. This is the large tip. I think it's called Bold. There's four different tips. Um, and this is the foil that is the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill foil. Patty, did you? I did. I did, Z. Thank you. So Zandra has an online store. She's one of my mods. You can see her for those of you who aren't familiar. Hey, Carrie Ann. Uh, in blue, Scraps to Beauty by Zandra. She has an online store that carries the stuff. Um, and a lot more. It's paintandpaperstudio.com. Check her out. You always get a fifth, at least a 15% discount. So I'm going to take this stencil with these little dots. And I'm going to trace the inside of these circles. And I think I can almost have this go around like twice and with this bold tip I think I can cover like that whole design it looks like it's working I'm not looking at chat right now I got my head down trying to watch what I'm doing and these stencils somebody said they had one of these pen hey I, uh, Elaine and Eileen NCB hello um and it ruined their stencil this will not ruin eye stencils. And I've, I've done this before, writing on them. I held it on there. They don't show a mark on them. So I don't, I'm not sure what sten who that was and what stencil they were using, but it do not touch the eye stencils. It's, it's really thick mylar. So also, speaking of the stencil, I will eventually, when I go to use this, cut it apart. And I'll keep one of these little connector tabs on each stencil when I cut it so I have a little handle to peel it up with and so I can use them individually. They're really good for if you're making ATCs or cards or something small or you can certainly keep them together. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. I won't bore you with that but just to show you different things you can do with the stencils. Hopefully this worked. Oh yes it worked. See my little arc of gold? Oh. Little circles through there. Let me turn this daylight lamp on. Sometimes that helps catch the, the shine. It's almost too shiny. Come on. Well, you can see it. But anyway, um, that's how you use these foil quill pens. There's four different tips. Yes, I have all four. I think my favorite is the calligraphy. Hey, Holly. Thank you. Who else came in? Eminem came in. Eminem. I'm going to let this sit here and let it cool down. I just wanted to do that real quick before we started anything else. So if anybody has a request for colors or stencils that they want to see, 
um, let me know and we'll, I'll do my best to show you what it is. I'm probably going to go stream for about an hour tonight. Um, I went over this, the, the details of the sale. Um, Hey Pamela. Uh, at the beginning of the video, so you can rewatch that or catch it here or ask a question if you want to, but it's, it's a big one. 33% off free stencil, free shipping in the U S over 50, et cetera, et cetera. So, this has shadows of those pictograph clusters, which are my original images. <laughs> You're welcome, Carrie Ann. <laughs> oh, my. Um, yeah, so I lost my train of thought. See, I can't, you can't make me do more than one thing at a time anymore. It's, that's just how it is. I wanted to try. I haven't printed this one. Maybe I'll print this one. Now, how do I want to print this? Oops. Stuck. I want to get some of these up too. I wonder if the bronze will pull it up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know what, Gala. <laughs> Oh, you screwball. Oops, this is... Oh, I painted it closed again. I'm going to have to... Good Lord, the paint so... Jammed up. There, we got it rolling again. It's squeaky, too. Don't you love that? You're welcome. Oh, I want to... Hang on. I want to move this... This caboobulated here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to pull this off. Holy crap, I'm unprepared. Imagine that. That's never happened. <laughs> There's some washi tape in my future right there. There's all those layers that I brayered off yesterday. Yes, that will be washi tape at some point in its future. Not no. Hi, Nancy. I did not know you could use the pens with stencils. Oh, yeah. Yep, you can trace, you know, trace through there and um, for sure. Now, somebody did say that they used it on a stencil and ruined the stencil. I, it does not touch the eye stencils. Hey, Riri. I just like to show, you know, every once in a while a little something to give you another idea that you don't just have to use stencils on a jelly plate. You don't have to use the whole stencil. You can just use a little bit of it. So I'm going to pull this up. Oh, you know what? I might pull this up over something and get those dots. One second. Let's use these pictographs here. That's got a shadow of the large orb stencil in there. See that? Those concentric sort of off-center circles. Oh, see? I almost didn't put my stencil down. I'm telling you people are screwing me up. This one's one of mine called Flower Power. Just some dotty circles. I named it after Dr. Dot. Hey, Jan! Hi, Susan. Let's put another little layer on top of this bad boy. Oh, that'd be a nice pop of black, too. Yeah, I like that. Good thing, huh? <laughs> a little late to be saying I didn't like it. And now my stencil's all birdie. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't. They get hot, too. I know that because sometimes I test them by touching my hand. Not the smartest idea. However, it works. Um, let's, let's do something crazy here. What's this? Dragon Flash. I like Dragon Flash with these goldy bronzes. Let's put a thin layer on there. Let's see, let's see if we can pull this up and have it looking, looking fine. All right. Hey, Colleen. 
Oh, thanks, Jude. Hope everybody's hanging in with their isolation and keeping busy. I saw YouTube, was it last night or this morning, crashed. <laughs> Nothing there. Hey, Tam. Five days until you re Oh, you're retiring in April. And are you talking about Jan? I know Jan's going out in April. You're already out, aren't you, Tam? Hey, Amalia. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Now the little dots that I cleaned out are blue with that dragon flash coming through it. You can see some pictograph shadows in there as well. If I can get it in the light the right way. Just, there you go. You see them some in there. So that was what's, You can still see little shadows of pictographs on here. That's what's so cool about the jelly plate. You never really, unless you wash it, you can rarely ever get off um, the whole history of images that have been on there. Oh, four shifts left, Jan. Good for you. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> U.S. to New Zealand. Yeah, that's. That should be good for social distancing. Okay, let me show you a couple new designs. I just want to print these. I'm not worried about doing something super spectacular. I just want to show you the images. Um, where's the one of Jones? I had one pulled out here that I wanted to do. She's got so many new designs. She's a freaking machine making designs. Oh, here it is. Okay. Can't see for looking. Wanted to print this one. I think this is going to look cool. What is this? Broken links. See all the little chain links that are, oops, not quite together there. Hence the name. Okay, let's. Since the white proof so interesting the other day. <laughs> Let's do a little of that. Let's do a little black flash. Come on. I'll set that one on its lid. Not make that too difficult the next time I want to use it. Let's try a little bit of this, which is the Aztec, no, Arteza Aztec Gold. I still didn't get my 10 tubes of Arteza uh, metallics. But that's okay. Oh. All right. So I want to do kind of a gradient kind of a thing and kind of Robin's Mark. Is it Rothko? I always forget the dude's name. Where he does like fields of color. And I'm just going to not clean my brush. My brush. My brayer. And just kind of let it do what it's going to do. I'll put that down here. And let's try that on this bad boy. Patty Gala so wants you to do another jingle jangle for her tonight. <laughs> well, you know it's bound to happen. <laughs> when and why, we don't know. Let me put, do this on this painter's paper here. I love those colors. Hey, Monique. Where are you flying? This 
this black gold on this paper is really pretty. It's got a green cast to it. And a little bluish looking. Watch this square right here. Maybe that was some blue left over on the plate from way back yonder. take where's that piece of waste waste paper this is my sacrificial deli paper hey nana i'm going to clean out the holes of this so that i try to get just the image of the stencil left on there in those three colors. Costco baby wipes were good, but I don't have a membership there. Oh my gosh, I bet you do have a lifetime supply because we get those for my art weekend. Laurie, um, Laura Lou on chat, she brings those to donate and that's a whole lot of baby wipes in a case of those. They're pretty good, too. Okay, I'm going to dry this. Oops, got my laptop unplugged so I can plug in my quill pen. I'm going to plug in my moving home to New Zealand tomorrow. Where are you now, Monique? Wow, you should know Jude. Jude Leader in chat is in New Zealand. That's so cool. I want to see where she's. I'm watching chat for a second. Cool heat gun to dry this. See, it's cool. I wouldn't fib. I'm not going to combust my my jelly plate on camera. If I do that, it'll be when you guys aren't here. Yeah, there's Jude in chat. Just two under your last comment, uh, Monique. Do you see Jude where she said Monique's, uh, her name is Button on here, is moving back to New Zealand tomorrow. Where are you moving from, Button? Where do you live now? Oh, thanks, A. Well, look, good thing is you can always still join us. As you can see, Jude's on here. So Northern Illinois. Okay. I thought you were somewhere like in the middle of the country. Okay, cool. Well, you'll have to meet up with Jude. I don't know where... Uh, I mean, I know it's a it's a big island, but um, I mean, even if it's small, you're somewhat near. Okay, now that this is dry, what am I going to do it? throw this oh wait, what's this no that's too much like it that's too brown that's not gonna give me much pop. I'm pop hey you know what oh this is probably gonna be a mistake but I'm gonna do it you know how I like me some good mistakes this is one of Seth's Isink ice translucent gels and according to Rachel you can use them where do you buy the heat pen thing? You can get them on Amazon or scrapbook.com or you can get them. I think Michaels and Joann's has them. Um, HSN, if you're in the States, Susan HSN usually has a good deal. And sometimes they sell all four of them plus rolls of their washi tape to hold down the foil plus 
uh, rolls of the fo or sheets of the foil. I forgot to give you a little roll of, or sheets of the foil, much cheaper than you can buy them anywhere else. But they sell out a lot on HSN. But HSN, if you're in the States, look for them there and try to get them there. Now, I'm going to try to pay attention to what I'm doing for a change. <laughs> and I'm going to roll this out quick and pull it quick because it's sticky. And Rachel, the Jelly Plate Queen, told me that you can use these on here. But you don't fart around with them. You pull that ra rascal off of there. Get off. That's what I'm going to do. We don't totally muck up my jelly plate right off the bat. Wouldn't that be too bad? Oh. oh, thanks, Gala. Gala just put the HSN link up there. Oh, look at that. Look at that glaze behind the bronze and the black flash. Mostly the bronze. I think it looks better even with the bronze. Isn't that a pretty color? You know, Mama, like that. Yeah. Trying to get this flash to show. Here it's flashing the bronze. I don't know what happened to the lights because nothing's changed. But everything's changed. So how do you figure that? Um, all right. Anybody got any requests? Throw them out there. Otherwise, I'm going to keep plowing through. And Jude, I think you said something about seeing the new pictographs. Um, this is the new pictographs in the smaller like font type. Um where they're kind of jumbled and like out of order, not just the straight lines of the same ones. Um, sorry, reading the chat. I did not have a stroke. So this is the pictographs. I'm going to do that. Let's try. Let's do this. Let's do black. Oh, I want to remember to try to play with that ink. I'm going to get a thin coat of a glaze down there and try to script with that. Um, is it Jay? Is it Herbine? Uh, Herbine, Herbine, Jay, Jay, somebody. 1670 inks. You can get them on jet pens or Goulet or you know, any of that kind of good stuff. Get off of me. Um, now I'm going to take this and try to pick up the pictographs over top of this. Hey, Libby. Hey, Judy. All right. I'm not watching what I'm doing, so I'm kind of cockeyed here. Shut up, Kayla. <laughs> ah, crap. Got wet paint everywhere. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. CB, how's things going in Texas with all this crazy? I'm doing this because this paper feels kind of fragile because it's still a little bit wet with that glaze. And I didn't want to tear it. But now it's got some adherence there. Oh, look at you. Hello, lover. See, it pushes all that in the background. Oh, I like that. Mama, likey. So now I'm going to try to clean out these holes and just try to capture a little. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do a patina print, so to speak. But I'm going to do that technique. And I think I'm going to go over it with bronze. Or, oh, wait a minute. Just going to be a partial print because some of these were cleaned out and some of them weren't. So I'm going to. Do I want to put bronze down? I'm going to do that first. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm going to take the golden bronze. I'm just going to go over this. And try to get that bronze to fill in the holes that I pulled. Right? So kind of be a patina print, but not really a patina print. See where you can see the characters where it's filling in the holes? And then what's behind the black paint you really won't see anyway. And then lift some up. Just the weight of the, bro the brayer rolling over it. Right? You've seen me do that at least 103 times. I'm sure that's an exact number. Now, I'm going to pull it with this. Patty, I ordered six by six picture. If you have some side. Oh, thanks, Libby. I hope you like it. Judy Patuti got a positive result. Judy did, or Monique did, or... Hey, Laura. What stencil has the smallest pictographs? Hang on one second, and I'll show you, um, Laura. Hey, Kathy. Joan, are you guys making out over there okay? Hey, Gilly. This could be spectacular. Or not. I'm not. Spectacular may be a strong word. But it ain't. Oh, look at that big blob of black paint there. Black Ola. There you go. We're seeing these edges. These almost look like the same color as this paper. However, they are metallic because that's the bronze paint showing through. See how shiny? That's kind of cool. Oh, good. Good, Joan. Um, but I could take this and make washi tape and strips of this. That wouldn't be too horrible to look at. Okay, small pictographs. Here's the one I just used, um, Laura. All right, there's that one. And then I have the old characters in a smaller font size kind of jumbled up together. And that's this one. So this one's called Pictograph Clusters. And this one is Pictographs 2. And then here's the new characters in the, like the original size kind of thing. All right, so there, can you see? put these two together. One, two, three, four, five, six fit in a row here where four fit in a row on this one. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five, six on this one too. All right, yeah, there's six on each row of those. Groovy. All right, let's print this bad boy. Oh, thank you. Um, make it a mess. Um, let's, while I'm looking at this, let's do this. Let me put down a sheer layer. Let's use the champagne gold, Martha's champagne gold, just a little skim. A little skinny skim layer. Just a little something. Oh, I love that squeak. Isn't that a lovely sound? Oh, she said with sarcasm, I have a request to see the dog. Do you mean Mr. Oakley? He's upstairs, I believe, with his grandmother. He's been so good with her. Maybe he remembers my stories and he's afraid of her. Oh! I'm going to cool this. This is cool air. Dry this off. 
Dave will most likely make an appearance. He keeps now trying to come down and scare me while I'm streaming. I did blast everybody's ears out the other day. So I did not hear him. And I all of a sudden I was looking down. I looked up and here he is, six foot three, all of them standing there in front of the table. And I, I could probably blew the speakers out. Okay. Let's see if that's enough to let me do what I want to do. So this is that J. Irvine ink. And this one, oh God, I forget the name of it. Let's see the 1670 label. Uh, this is the one Emerald. Uh, oh, God. It's an Irish name, I believe. And I know Emerald is in there. Oh, I couldn't even take a guess. Could not take a, a guess. And last night's metal papers you did. Last night's metal papers. Of course, I showed them before you got here. But that's okay. Do you mean which ones? Do you mean this one? Dreamcatcher? Oops, where am I? That's the Dreamcatcher. This is the Watch Orb. Oh, uh, you might mean. Oh, these two maybe? This is one of Joan's new ones. And that just has the black flash on it. See how it's got that blue cast to it? Isn't that interesting? And it's on this, again, on this painter's paper. And it's making it... Oh, thank you, Eileen. I didn't see what they said, but... Don't be a dick here. <laughs> Unless, of course, your name is Dick, and that's totally acceptable. We ain't putting up with any of that crap. The swelling. Oh, that. That's All right. Well, let's get back to finding that. Oh, they didn't turn out that great, Gala. I showed it at, at the beginning. It's not that great. You can see the patina. How it turned. I ended up with the dark blue and just sprinkled some in there because I figured it was going to be crap anyway. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not whooped about that at all. I'm going to be trying it again, but not tonight because there's so many layers it takes to do it. Okay, update on Jude's. She is fine. They're changing. And so she is going home. Oh, good. And I don't know who you mean by that, Shauna. Which Jude? This has a lot of mica that settles in the bottom, but this dries really cool, usually. <laughs> usually. Um, I'm going to try this little brush. It actually breaks up into green, turquoise, with some red, and a little, like, bronzy gold on some papers. I'll show you a sample while this is drying. Um, oh, yeah, that's going to let me do it pretty good. I'm not looking at the chat at the moment. Missed the bottle there. Okay, good enough. I just want to get something down there. Let me smear someone here and see how it dries. All right. Put that on the brush. And while that's drying, give me a moment and I will 
go over and see if I can find the example of this. Um, it's really cool ink, Jude. Wait, let me see if I can find the paper where it actually shows, oh my gosh, all the colors that it breaks into. I, stand by, I have about a thousand papers to look at to find it. But we'll get in here sooner or later. I don't think I'm getting close. I see a little. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And again, this on different papers acts different ways, like that silver black Sumi ink does. This isn't Sumi ink. Um, but here you can see I used it on rice paper. And you can see what the silver ink, silver black ink did, right? It's silver with that black outline, which looks really cool, and the black goes through. Well, most of these went through too. And I have the emerald, I forget what the brown one's called, and the red one. And you have to look really cr close at these on the rice paper to see anything but the turquoise. But I think this character right here, you can see some of the metallic in that thicker line. If it focuses, maybe. Come on, work with mama. That looks really royal blue on the camera, but that's a lot more green than that in person. Okay, it's not going to help me. Um, but anyway, this was on tracing paper. Now, and this is the second row is that same ink. Look what it does. See all those colors that come up? How stinking cool is that? That's out of that one bottle. And then here is the brown one. You can see down in here some of the gold and a little bit of the red that comes out in that. Right? And then this is the red one. And where is it a good? This one's a good character to show you. It comes out with some green and gold in it. They are really cool inks. There you go. See a little bit of that green and, and orangey gold in there? Yeah, so that's what that one might or might not do on here. I don't know. It's J. Urbine. It's H-E-R-B-I-N 1670 ink. Let me see. None of these have another label on them. They all just have the 1670. They also have 1798 inks. Um but they're mostly like with just silver pearl in them. Like this one's a 16, a 1798. The kyanite, that's actually a really pretty color. But these are the ones that do the tricks. This is the bottle, Jude. These are the bottles. They're really pretty. But the, the imprint on the wax seal says 1670. And they're by J. Irvine. This is Coco something. Is this Ruby something? I don't know. Emerald. They're like in French. I have no idea. Yeah, it's the anniversary series. Apparently they had more than one anniversary because I got a 1798 set too. I got an Amethyst and a Kyanite in the 1798 ones. Purple and turquoise. I know that's a shocker. Okay, let me see if I see. So it's weird. This is show. See the the shine in that? It's coming out really like a. Let me try to catch it. Almost purpley. I don't know. I don't know. Let me hit this with the cool gun. Is it the ocean blue? No. This? No. This is emerald. Oh, hell. I think I think the ocean blue just has like um, uh, silver and blue. I think. Yeah, they haven't done one for a while, Kathy. I've had these for a few years, and I haven't unless a new one's come out just recently, or if a new one's come out and it's like um, 
there's one storm something I think it's called. It's like gray with silver. It's kind of eh. Once you once you see these, those are kind of they're beautiful metallic inks. Don't get me wrong, but they're not cheap and they're just sort of ordinary to me. This color on this is crazy. Now, what am I going to pick this up with? Look how that's looking on the plate. kind of wild, isn't it? Should I put just another coat of the um, what's it going to look like under here? See, I don't know if we're going to lose that because that just looks kind of green there. Now I'll get a little bit of that. I don't know. Well, we've got, this is how we got to pick it up, so let's just get on with it. I'm going to do it with more champagne gold so it's kind of clear. Hey, Penny. Yes, Emerald of, Sh I don't know, Shavor. I don't know how to say that. Thank you. Where in the hell am I getting this black paint? Oh, oh mercy. Pause for baby wipe. Gail, if you could spare a square, you could send me a couple rolls of toilet paper to use for this. <laughs> Yeah, this looks really cool like this, but I don't I don't know what's gonna happen when we do this, but we shall see. And then we'll think of another way to use it if that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that looks like pink. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at it running. Son of a bee. Look at you. Well, crappity, crap, crap. Not permanent. <laughs> Maybe it'll be really cool. Who knows? Yeah, Jet Pens has it. Ga yeah, Gala found it on Amazon. Uh, Goulet Pens, I think, has it. Pretty much any of the fountain pen stores. They're the only ones I know. They really are. They're beautiful. Do you use them, Kath? If so, what do you what do you use them for? You just write with them, or do you mix them in your in your mixed media arsenal? Hey, Sue. Welcome. So I'm going to go over the sale details after this poll, so everybody has what they need. Well, that's kind of ghostly. Yet a stunning color. But none of those, none of that color that I saw on the plate. But you can't hate it. That's a really funky, cool background. I put a little, little pop of black pictographs or something over that. Hello, lover. Where am I? Oh, I see where the black is coming from. A little blob right there. Well, oh, not such a little blob. No, Gail, I want that pick in the backyard. What are you talking about, Penny? She's a neighbor. I got to watch her. She can come over here. <laughs> but she never does. Um, okay, so just to go over this again for anybody that might have popped in late. iStencils.com uh, is where Joan Smithies, one of my mods you'll see in blue on the chat, um, and I design stencils for iStencils.com. You'll see Joan Stencils under my heading, which is Patty Tolly Parish. And right now, the iStencils is offering 33% off the, their entire site. I know it's over 3,500 designs. I don't know the exact number, but it's a shit ton of designs, or, of designs, I can tell you that. And another tip, when you're shopping on there, I would strongly advise you, if you see something you're considering, put it in your cart rather than have to try to go back 30 pages and try to find it again. 
And when you go to check out, narrow it down and pull out the ones you don't like and get what you want. But you won't have to go back and find it again. Ask me how I know. Um, if you buy at least one of mine or one of Joan's new stencils, or no, any stencils, I'm sorry, not new, but any of our stencils, you'll get this free stencil that Joan designed um, as a gift to you. So you can go in and buy one of Joan's stencils and get this free. One of my stencils, get this free, and that's it. And if you're in the U.S., your shipping will be $2.99. If you spend $50 bucks in the U.S., your domestic shipping is free. International shipping is $11.99, which if you have ordered from the States before and you're international, you'll know that's pretty that's pretty cheap. Um, Sherry is also going to donate 10% of the total amount of sales for the whole week um, to a COVID-19 a COVID-19 charity. And this sale's running a week long till the Monday, the 30th of March. Hey, Robin. Yeah, I'm telling you, it really, it'll save you a lot of bad words. Trust me. <laughs> but anyway, so this is, she's really going, and, and also Sherry's got a new site out there. So she's really going over and above with what the normal sale is. Normally it's 20 or 25% off. It's 33 um, the free stencil is just with the purchase of one other stencil, not a minimum of $25. Uh, the charity donation, that's on top of that. Shipping is always $50. Uh, order gets free shipping in the U.S. all 365 days a year. That's the same thing. But it's a week long. Usually we run it Thursday to Sunday. It's a week long, Monday to Monday. And uh, the uh, just the shipping rates, they're pretty constant. So there you go. Okay, who the hell's my jelly plate? Well, see, that experiment didn't go so good. I should have just left it on the plate and framed my plate. Hey, Linda. Um, Oakley said you guys can share his bathroom. Oh, <laughs> you want to... Oh, Jesus. Great. So nice. Penny, you would. <laughs> Knucklehead. Uh-oh, what's Eileen pawning off on you now? I must have missed it. She's she's power selling. Oh, must be the Irvine Inks. She is right. I gotta give her that. Is the international shipping cost for the total order? Total order. The total order that you order, it'll go in a flat rate envelope. I guess the limitation would be how many can she cram? into that flat rate envelope, but it's $11.99. Yep. Okay. Um, what else? Let's do something new. Oh, here. Here's this one laying right here. Let's do... What are we going to do with this bad boy? Um, got a mess going on here, I can tell you. Let's do... This is some of the treasure gold and aquamarine. Aqua, aqua. Marine. And I'm going to do kind of a gradient thing with the, let's do the rose gold with this. Kathy needs the inks you have. Of course she does. I would highly recommend them if you're into metallic inks and funky fun color inks. You will not call me ugly names when they come in. I said, bless Patty's heart. She led me the right way. And even though these were not cheap, I love Patty for sharing her information. <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> okay, let's get some of this over in this corner. Let's just do a diagonal gradient because I just don't want to smear paint on the paper. Okay. 
And we got to mix it up over the over the line there. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. I used to get ugly comments on my YouTube channel when my brayer squeaked. <laughs> Pick another channel that lubes their brayer. <laughs> Bless your hearts. I do know. I acknowledge that it's anno igno uh, annoying, but yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> Thanks, Jude. Somebody does. Got to go to New Zealand to get some love, but that's all right. That's all right. This is one of my new ones. What the hell is it called? I think Target's. One good thing about Deli, you can see through it and see where you missed. Giving a good judge. <laughs> Gail, you are so tickled over that toilet paper. I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'd be happier if it were in my basement, but that's okay. Oh, those two paints mixing look kind of cool where they overlap there made a pretty greenish kind of color Oops. trying to find the blendy part here you go around through here come on oh, you can kind of see it he's shiny Look at all that goodness. I do believe I'm going to pick that up on a piece of black paper. Get a hold of it. There we go. Oops, get off of there. I hope Gail saw your comment. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty desperate. Penny, if you if you hit the mother load at Costco, let me know and I'll, I'll give you Oakley for a week for a few rolls. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus. That's an alarm I set. Hang on. <laughs> it's a reminder for my mom. I just sent it to Dave. <laughs> Patty, how's your mom? She's good. She's good. Yep. Well, that doesn't look so pretty on the black paper, does it? The aquamarine? Look how that looks. Just looks silver. A little bit of a blue cast to it, but very little. Isn't that wild how some of these paints look different on different papers? That that painter's paper. Um really makes them get different. Oh, I got a little ghost of those circles on there too. See the ghost? Um, this is gonna look really cool. So let's see, what haven't I printed? Anybody want to see anything in particular? 
Let's see. I think I got those are all printed. Put them in another stack. Here's a bunch of Joan. Joan has so many. I don't know if I got enough paper to print all of hers. <laughs> Here's another one. This is one of Jones. Look at all these stencils. This one. The yellow if you want to see any of these. Otherwise, I'll just start at the top and keep pressing on. 8.30. I've been down here an hour. Did you just hear that thump? <laughs> that so the secret alarm. Patty, could you put a pictograph over Jones every which way? Oh Lord. Um I don't remember. Is that one of the newest ones? That's an older one, isn't it, Jude? I think that's an older one. I remember the name. So that alarm. <laughs> was my reminder to keep mom on her schedule. 8.30 is time for her Klondike bar. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Um, trying to find it. Dr. Hearts. Is that one I already printed? Um, so I sent David text. I said, Time for mom's Klondike. He said, I know. And he took it in there and he must have scared her. And she screamed and stomped her feet when I walked in the I could hear him there over my head. Any which way. Here it is right here. I love that one. That's probably why I remember the name. I can do that. What color do you want? Wait a minute. Hang on. Every which way. Oh, hell. This one's any which way. Is this not the one you're talking about? Ah, oh, crap. This may take a while for me to dig through the dreaded stencil drawer to find. Okay, okay. Oh, this one. Okay. I think Joan may have one called Every Which Way. This one is Any Which Way. This one's number 77. What color? Jude, that was your request. I'll go with your color choice. And you want to see, what did you say? Pictographs over it? Which, which any particular pictograph or do you care? Hey, Josie. Use it the other day. All right, I'm waiting for Jude to see if she cares what color it is. New scrambled old pictograph. Okay. Got that one. All right. Let's just mix up. Oh, I'm going to mix up. Let's mix up. Let's put some crazy blues down here. Oh, shoot, that was way too much. That's the Peacock Pearl Deco Art. Let's do a little of the Emerald Flash. And let's do... What else? Dragon Flash or this dark blue? Let's do this dark blue. I don't know why. Let's 
just for shits and giggles, as we say here. All right, I'm just going to drag them all around. Round and round and round she goes. Where we stop, nobody knows. Oh, it's my mama. Freaking poet. Oh. Hey, look at this tape over here. Okay, any which way, JS077. On the paper. Let's do it on this and see what comes out. And then the pictographs, you want them in a metallic bronze or a black for a little papa. Do you care? Or would you like Patty's surprise? I try to be accommodating. Oh, you choose colors. That means for the other one, the top or two, I guess. Okay. This one does look like your style, uh, Jude, to be honest. There's that one. And then I'm going to pull this. Actually, I think I'm going to pull that on this and see what happens. Oop, I dropped it, so that's where it's going to go. Yeah, post picture, guys, when you use the stencils. Um, every once in a while, somebody will ask me what my angel policy is. And that is to use my stencils. And I hope you go make a million dollars from whatever you sell. <laughs> That's my policy. It kills me when somebody sells a tool, like a stencil, and then doesn't allow you to use it <laughs> for any, I mean, other than you're going to keep it for yourself. But I get it to a degree, but that's not me. So that wasn't a good choice because it's metal over metal and it didn't really show up that well. But when you catch the light just right, you can see it. It does look cool. And which I'm not going to be able to do. Over here on the far, the far side. Nope, this side. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me... What is that? It sounds like a disaster. Rain shower. i got to turn off those notifications for showers. I don't even know about big deals. <laughs> Let's do a Papa Black. A little Papa. I love me a little Papa. Oh, I don't want to cover that though. Good enough. Uh, little pictographs. And put this back down. And I skewed it a little bit, didn't I? So I'm going to try to line that up again. So it's not crooked on crooked. So mine's going to be a little bit bigger than Joan's because hers is an A4 and mine's a 8 by 10 So I'm not going to completely overlap. She's got an inch on me one way and I've got an inch on her the other or something like that. What are the channels? See how Kathy and Colleen store their stencils. Amazing. Ah, how do they store them? Don't tell me hanging on a rod because I can't do that how I'm situated. They would be in my face all the time. Yeah, April, click on the three dots to the right of their name. And chat, and you'll see one of the choices is go to channel. Oh, can you do it by clicking on the name too? Thank you, Penny and Joe, for letting you choose your stencil without <laughs> even fridge. Actually, that doesn't apply to you, Gala. <laughs> for you, unless you give up a little TP. 
There you be. There it is. All right, I'm going to, while I have this like this, I'm going to take this off. Yeah, that's her new currency is rolls of toilet paper. And my birthday's coming up, Gala. So, you know, there's that. You can make me one of those big birthday cakes out of rolls of toilet paper. Like they make diaper cakes for showers. <laughs> oh, hell, did I fall off paper? No, I think I'm okay. I'm going to get rid of this. This one's getting dangerous. Um, let's put... Hang on. I want to get that blue-black PBO. I call them PBO for years, but I think the right name is green blue rather is Pebio. Not the artist, that's the tube. Ah, oh, thanks, you. <laughs> See what this does over the black? It gets a really funky cool color. And I'm not even gonna mix it up. Oh that looks cool. Oh, I might have to make tape out of that tonight. No, not tonight. It's already quarter to nine. This is going to be my last print. I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow because I have another plan. Um, another commitment. So I will be back over the weekend, though, to try to get in as much as I can uh, while the sale's on. So get people to be able to see stuff, ask questions, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of administrative mumbo jumbo. All right, let's see what this looks like. On the painter's masking paper. <laughs> Kayla, you knucklehead. <laughs> I guess with all this activity with the new toilet paper and stock, um, your rib is better. Hey, Kim. Oh, uh, you tuned in too late. Well, you can watch the recording. And I'll be back over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, not sure what time. Probably Saturday evening and Sunday afternoon. But I, I can't swear to it. I'm not sure what I'll... We have to... We got another list where we're going to have to make another run to the store at some point. I might have to take a run to mom's house for a couple things. I do not know. Okay. Oh, that's cleaning up the plate. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, hello, lover. That's kind of cool, ghostly, black and blue, shiny little bits on there. You can't hate it, people. Oh, you know what I might do on top of this? That's not my last print. I'm going to do one more thing. That needs a little, a little something. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back. For this little rascal. And use bronze. I think Galen knows a guy. So this is bronze. A little bronze over that. Oh, look at you. And do we want to do this one? Oh, no. You know what? I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this crazy eights. Yeah, I'm going to use this. Give me this. Let's see what happens. It's the worst that can happen.
newsprint on a roll and claimed it was toilet paper. <laughs> That's a rough ride right there. Oh, Lordy. Before that happens, I'm going to have Dave hook a garden hose up and drag it in the bathroom window and we're just going to call it a call it a day and a bidet. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Oh, oh. Oh, I really like that. That's a hello lover to my eye anyway. Oh, mommy like you. Uh, yes, I do. All right. Let me figure out what I'm going to do here before I go too crazy. <laughs> hey, April, it might come to that. Just take them over some cupcakes or something. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Okay, let's see. What can I pull? We'll try to pull this on. I mean, this really isn't that precious at this point, right? Yeah, let's just do it on here. Let's just do it on here. That's a paper cut right there, Dr. Dot. Oh, maybe we'll do um, all metallics the next time. Remember that time a few years ago, I did one of the days for the stencil sale. I did all goldens, uh, silver, copper. I was mixing those to get a rose gold, the fine gold, the bronze. We might do that. Interesting. All right, kids. I'm going to sign off. This is my favorite, I do believe. I do like this. I like all of them, really. There's nothing I don't really don't like. There is no code, Kim. It's for the whole website. The new website accommodates it without a co without a code. So anybody that goes there and buys them this week, they don't need the code. I'm going to call it a night, Pam. Yeah, I got, I've been on the last, this is my third night. And I've got my mom here too. So, um, thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Mods. And, um, I will catch you guys sometime Saturday. Follow me on social media so you know when I'm going to stream because sometimes, as we know, She's a last minute choice. So I appreciate the support and the giggles and that Gala is now set up for lifetime supply of TP. I can rest and sleep better tonight. So <laughs> happy wiping. <laughs>